Welcome, my name is Shanna Wilson and I'm the principal at Blytheville Primary School. The purpose of this video is to provide our parents and guardians an overview of the Primary Virtual Academy. Each school in our district will have different components and offerings to their virtual academies because our students are of different age levels, which means different developmental and academic needs. This year in education is going to be like no other in the years before for, for Blyville Primary. However, above all else, our fundamental mission stays the same, ensuring high levels of learning for all of our students, which definitely means our virtual students as well. Just because a student is virtual doesn't mean they are any less a part of our school family. We are going to do whatever it takes to make sure all of our students learn. I know one of the big questions parents and guardians have, what will Blyville Primary Virtual Academy consist of? We are going to offer at least one teacher per grade level that will focus specifically on our virtual students. There is the potential for more than one teacher per grade level depending on the number of students who are signed up by July 30th, which is the deadline. We even have a dedicated special education teacher who will support our students who receive self-contained and resource services. Our virtual students who are in need of additional special services such as speech, occupational therapy, and physical therapy will continue to receive those services virtually through Zoom. Our school counselor will be available for individual sessions as well. We'll use a combination of live instruction through the use of the Zoom platform and pre-recorded videos and assignments through our new learning management system, Buzz, from Lincoln Learning. I will show a short video next to give you an introduction to Lincoln Learning. The teachers will also be recording videos, especially for read-alouds, for our students to learn from as well. We don't want our students to miss out on being read to by their teacher. We must use live instruction through Zoom to teach phonics and phonemic awareness because this allows us to know if students are learning the sounds and how to decode or read words which are foundational skills in kindergarten, first, and second grade. We will also have some assessments that must be given through Zoom as well. Our virtual students will be following the same unit pacing and be taught the same essential standards as our on-site students, just through slightly different means. Our grades will continue to be standards-based, not a number like 90%. Kindergarten and first grade already had a standards-based report card, and second grade will be following suit this year. I will be putting out a video soon with more information about standard space report cards. So now we're going to watch a short introductory video about our new learning management system, Lincoln Learning. We understand that one size doesn't fit all, especially when it comes to your child's education. Whether you prefer that your child learns in a traditional classroom setting, in a fully online setting, or in a blended environment of the two, Lincoln Empowered offers you the flexibility to choose the right learning model for your child. The Lincoln Empowered Elementary Curriculum provides students with proven, standards-based instruction that encourages excitement and creativity in the areas of science, language arts, math, social studies, wellness, and visual arts. Through the use of engaging online components like informative games, insightful videos, and comprehensive assessments, we empower students to master content and achieve academic growth. Such mastery and growth are enhanced and encouraged by the innovative built-in features at your child's fingertips, a screen reader, a six language translator, and an advanced note-taking tool. By combining these online activities and tools with various hands-on elements like experiments, art projects, illustrated storybooks, activity books, flashcards, and supply kits, we provide our students with a complete and fulfilling education experience. The choice is yours with Lincoln Empowered. Limit your child's screen time by leveraging our comprehensive printed materials. Engage fully online with our dynamic online curriculum. Or use both to create the perfect blend for your child. And with our flexible learning management system, 
you and your child can easily navigate course pathways 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Charting progress and mastering content are just a click away. With Lincoln Empowered, you have all of the tools to craft the most personalized, effective learning experience for your child. Are you ready to power up the learning? So while we might not be using all of the components, we will definitely be using the digital components. We will be providing our own kits and um, our own printed materials. So some classroom assessments will be given through the Zoom platform because they are common to all of our students in that grade level, whether they're virtual or on-site. And some of those assessments are one-on-one -on -one that must be given by the teacher. Our virtual students will be given the Dibbles and the DSA assessments through Zoom. These assessments help us determine student growth in learning letters, sounds, and decoding and spelling of words. Some assessments may be used from Lincoln Learning as well. The one assessment that must be given at school is our state assessment, iStation, which consists of a reading assessment and a math assessment. Teachers will schedule times with you, the parent, each month to bring, them to, to bring your child to their teacher's classroom. She will make sure to schedule those times with five or fewer students in the room at a time. This will allow us to be able to social distance while they're testing. Students will need to wear a mask. If you do not have one, we will provide a disposable one at the entrance. Students must bring their Chromebook with them to school on the scheduled day for their assessment. Students will need supplies at home in order to be more successful in their learning. The district will provide each student with a Chromebook and a charger, which is essential for virtual learning. Primary will provide each student a math and phonics manipulative kit. The math kits include different manipulatives based on grade level needs. These materials will give students hands-on experience in learning math, which is essential at our grade levels. And as you can see on the screen, what each grade level will receive. So in kindergarten, they're going to get some kidney beans because counting collections is important and it will give them objects to manipulate as they're learning to count and add and subtract. Um, two color counters, shapes, snap cubes. Uh, base 10, a clocks, some play money, a hundreds chart, and 5, 10, and 20 frames. In first grade, they will get kidney beans as well um, for manipulative snap cubes, 10 rods, base 10 units, a clock, money, 120 chart, an addition and subtraction wrap, um, which we'll teach you how to use, and a number line up to 20. And then second grade, we'll get the kidney beans as well, 10 rods, base 10 units, hundreds, a ruler, clock, a cube, money, um, this will include play dollar bills and five dollar bills along with the um, nickel, penny, diamond quarter, 120 chart, an addition and subtraction wrap, and you'll they'll learn to start partitioning shapes so they'll get a square, rectangle, and circle that they can use for that as well. The phonics kits are important pieces to our connections program that we use to teach phonics, which is when we teach students letter sounds and how to read or decode words. So they're going to get a canvas um, that they will use to trace on. They'll get letter cards so they can build words, a dry erase board. They'll get a rice bag so they can have a different way to learn their letters and sounds, and a short vowel book. And the teacher will show them how to use all these manipulatives and when to use them. Parents and guardians will need to provide certain supplies as well. We have provided a school supply list for you. Please keep these items in a designated place in your home with the manipulatives that we are loaning out for the year. Parents are also responsible for providing their own internet service. This is very important because your child will not be able to participate in the online learning without internet access. We recommend that you have a specific place in your home for students to go each day to participate in the online learning. And just a note about the school supply list, please remember that school supplies can be found cheaper right before school starts than they can once school has started. So buying a few extra now will save you in the long run. And that's the reason why we put four packs of crowns, two packs of pencils, six glue sticks. It's going to be cheaper now than it will be if you need to replenish those items as the year goes. And just a side note for, from teachers, 
Wooden pencils sharpen much better than any other kind. So we recommend the Ticonderonda brand because they sharpen the best and they will uh, last the longest with your pencil sharpener. Our virtual parents are equally as important as the parents of our on-site students. So we created parent engagement events that would cater to both sets of parents. Because of the restrictions of having visitors in our building and not being able to have large groups of people together, we're having four virtual family events this year instead of our regular family events. Each family event will follow the same format but have slightly different activities. For example, we will send a book home for parents and students to read together. For our virtual families, we'll mail the book home in advance. The night of the family event, we'll hold a Zoom meeting where we'll do a read aloud and work with parents on learning something with their child. All of our PTO meetings this year will be virtual through Zoom and will be recorded so they can be watched at a later time if you're not able to join us for the live event. I will be sending out a monthly parent newsletter through email to our virtual parents with updates on the primary virtual academy, tips and tricks to help your child learn at home, and a read aloud video that you can watch with your child. How else can you be involved? We will be looking for readers for our community reader program. While we will not be able to have them physically present, we will be asking them to either zoom in to read aloud to a class or video them reading a book that we can then play in the classroom our virtual classroom or on-site classroom. We would love for you to volunteer to be one of these readers. And if you would like to, please email me and let me know and I will put you on the list. It's going to be very important that we have a current address for you and current phone numbers and an email address. And if you're saying, hey, I don't have an email address, go to google.com, sign up for a Gmail account. It's free and it's easy to do. But we will be doing a lot of communication through email this year with our virtual families. But we will be sending things home, so we'll need an updated mailing address. Um, and make sure your phone number is always updated with us as well. No matter which decision you make, we are committed to making sure our students receive the best education. We know decisions are not being made lightly. And we are here to support our students no matter if they are physically present with us or we interact virtually. Registration is going on right now in the primary office Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Even if you choose the virtual option, we still need you to come to the office and fill out the registration packet. This is especially important for kindergarten students and students new to the district. We need a copy of your child's birth certificate, social security card, shot record, and physical. If you are a returning student, we will need updated information as well, so you will need to fill out the registration packet as well. The deadline to sign up for a virtual academy is Thursday, July 30th. Once you sign up online, you will have more time to get to the primary office to complete the rest of the registration paperwork. I will put a link in the comments to this post if you need access to the online application. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions you may have had about our primary virtual academy. This is my work Google Voice phone number, 870-576-9425. You may send me a text message or leave me a voicemail if you have any questions that I can help you with as you make a decision. I have also provided my email address for the same reason, jwilson at blavelschools.net. We are excited to provide the Virtual Academy as an option for you this year. We look forward to learning with you as we make our Virtual Academy the best it can be by working together.